welcome to Valentina Design Universe. I am Valentina Cirasola. I'm your host and today you're in for a fun show with a colorful person. She is a painter and she paints in a very colorful way just like she is uh, a colorful person. She um, sees uh, elephants with uh, blue-green skin and she sees the lion hair in orange or yellows. She, uh, being a Texan, she loves boots, cowboy boots, but she sees them a little bit of her way. She also loves the scene of uh, the restaurants in New Orleans. So let's welcome to the show, Sherry Woodward. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you. I'm so pleased you came today to the show. I'm very much happy. So tell me, uh, you've been painting for a while. Was there always your dream to paint? Or um, how, how did you start it? Well, since I was a child, I painted, I drew, I colored. I, I was always uh, a creative type of person, and everybody would say, oh, Sherry, you're an artist. And so I believed it. And since I was a child, I always was painting or drawing or something. And, um, and then, you know, I was in art, art class and uh, in high school in the art club. And uh, as a teenager, I painted, I sold paintings, I sold oil paintings. That and was a good encouragement as yes. a teenager to sell paintings. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was a very good experience. And um, you know, then later you grow up, you have kids, um, you get married, you have kids. And then I just got away from it. Be, you know, it's busy young life. mother. Life busy. Right. Yeah. And then, um, you know, the kids grew up eventually mm -hmm. and went to college. And um, I was uh, actually, I live in the Bay Area and I was working in San Francisco. And so I had a commute and just working a lot of hours. And I found myself about six years ago uh, able to work close to home. What so a nice I, thing, oh, at least in this area. Oh, wow. Life Not to have to commute. commute. Exactly. Yeah. So life changed really quickly, mm -hmm. and I found myself home at four o'clock oh, or four o five. I was home, still daylight. The house was spotless the first week, and then after that, I started getting bored. So um, I got on Facebook and um, started finding some art classes online. Uh, for some artists that I really enjoyed their work and uh, a lot of color. Um, that's always fascinated me. And so I started getting, you know, going online, taking these courses mm -hmm. and learning all of these new products. And then I got into acrylic painting yeah. rather than oil. Um, it's easy cleanup. It, it is easier. Easy yeah. to clean up. And yes. Easy, easy to dry. And there's yes. so many products. Oh, yes. There's Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But when you started, did you know what subject to paint? Did you know you wanted to be an abstract painter or no. portraits or? No. So where did you get your creativity? The, the, the first thing I learned was not to be afraid of a blank canvas. Exactly. You know, the white canvas. Exactly. There would be times before I, I got into the painting that we'd go to, um, you know, an art show, to a museum, and I'd be all inspired. I'd come home and I'd have this little canvas and paints yes. and then give up. I yep. don't even know where to start. Yep. Yep. So the class has helped me to, to learn how do you get started. So I have no problem with a blank canvas anymore. Very nice, because some people starting art, they have, it's like the writer block. They yes. get in, in front of that paper and they don't know what to write. Right. You know, but it's the same thing with uh, the paintings, you know. If it's you, the same thing. Yeah. Some people get uh, really... Uh, Tight. Like, yeah, like, now what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is no test. Everything is art in this world, really, mm -hmm. you know. And so there is no one that judge you when you start. 
But anyway, I, at this point, I want to show a couple of videos of you in the studio and you kind of showing us your uh, pro thought process. Mm -hmm. So studio, please send the video. Okay, this is Sherry and I am in my art studio, which used to be a bedroom of one of our kids. But now that we're empty nesters, um, now I've taken over. So um, what I'm doing today is I'm working on a painting for a girlfriend and um, you know, I, I've gone and put a couple of layers on this, but, uh, you know, I need to adjust it. So I've mixed a little paint on my little table that's covered with plastic. And I just want to change up some colors on here. So this is what I do. I, I mix colors, I play around, I have a good time, and just kind of go for it and see what happens. And I'll do a couple of layers and play around with the color some more. And um, I'll let it dry and then I'll come back and work on something else. And when I have extra paint, I will add to another painting that I'm working on. So I don't waste any paint. That's good. Good, very good. Do we have one more video? Okay, so. While this other painting is drying, I uh, pulled out a painting that I'm still working on. I have a bunch of those. And I'll get started on this. Um, I haven't seen this in a while, but uh, this is one of my intuitive paintings where um, we put a lot of different marks on the painting and then we think about what image we want to put and my sister-in-law decided that Cecil the lion needed to be here. So I agreed. I figured he would look good there. And I know it's crazy looking, but that's kind of the way the intuitive paintings look. And that's what makes them fun. So, um, oh, I think he needs some yellow and orange. I have extra left over from this painting. So I'll just kind of start. Sometimes I use my fingers, or I'll use tools, art tools. Just have a good time. I think that this is therapy for me when I come home from work. So. I think everybody could use a little therapy. This is kind of a taste of what I do. Click. Good. I see your art is very colorful and that's why I like it. I feel very uh, happy when I look at your artwork. Now you were painting in your studio bare feet. Is that a reason for that? <laughs> or is it just because you were hot? <laughs> and that was a that, hot day. That was a, I know when you made it, it was really, really hot. <laughs> um, I, I like to be comfortable. Yes. And I do like to be in my bare feet. So closer to the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I called this show intuitive painting because I think your art is called intuitive painting, right? Tell us why. Okay, so intuitive painting is, is just a way into the painting. It's, it's um, a way in. So, for example, I mentioned the, the blank canvas that scares everyone. Well, if you can get over that and you just start putting on different colors, uh, let that layer dry, put on some cool colors. Maybe you start with warm, do cool, you know, there's a process. Right. And then we do like a mark making. 
this is fun. This is just like playing with your fingers, painting. I know. Uh, <laughs> it, it's fun. There, there's no judgment. It can look like anything. Just take the colors that you like, the color combinations. And just um, if you have noticed on this little elephant painting, mm -hmm. um, there's all different little marks uh, that add interest to the painting. And so that has several layers on it. And I usually don't start off knowing I'm going to put elephants on the painting. But after a while, either I'm looking to see what does it, is there an image that strikes me mm -hmm. that I might go in and try to add that image? Or like for this particular little painting here, I liked the, the shape of the canvas. It's tall and skinny, it's unusual, right, something different. Right, right. And so it I brought it- It calls for that subject. Well, yeah. tall and skinny, why not yeah. elephants? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so. They do look like they're made for this size of uh, canvas. It worked. I, I was really into elephants at the time too. So I have several paintings of elephants and they all yeah. look different. And we like to call these the Ellies. Ellies? <laughs> Ellies. The Ellies. Oh. The Ellies. <laughs> why is that? I don't know. It's just fun. because. Just because. Just because your intuition tell you. Exactly. This is uh, Ellie's. Right. Okay, that's uh, that's a good yeah, thing. It's like a little yeah. nickname for them. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Yeah. I love it. But anyway, I see um, many uh, waiters in your s selection, in your collection. I would say. Is there a, a part of a study you're doing, or is it? something you really love about uh, New Orleans restaurant scene? Yes. Both. Yes, <laughs> all. <laughs> yes, all. <laughs> well, I, what I'm doing is I'm working on a series, okay. uh, which is a collection of paintings that have to do with the subject, okay. uh, the same subject, and the subject is New Orleans, mm -hmm. and I call it my NOLA series, mm -hmm. uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Right. Right. So I have several sub-series. One is the waiters. Right. I, I just love the, to paint the waiters in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. uh, New Orleans restaurants is just such a part of their culture. It's their food, yeah. their wait staff. Um, mm -hmm. Also, the landscape, the bayous. Mm -hmm. And I have mm -hmm. um, a painting mm -hmm. that will show. Um, Mardi Gras. Oh, yes. Carnival. Yes. Debutantes, I know. the girls. It's such a fun city. So it is. I, I can see why you get inspired by yes. all these motions. So yes, absolutely. And um, um, I'm, I'm going to ask you something else. Um, you know, painting to me, at least let's see if we have the same thinking, painting to me or, or art is uh, something you feel. When we hang pictures on the walls, we do it for many different reasons, because we like the subject, because we feel some emotion coming to us, we feel inspiration, maybe brings back memories of something we have seen or have been to. Um, when instead I go in people's homes, you know, as an interior designer, I see um, people have matched their art to their decor, the pillows, the sofa, and this and that. To me, that is a bit of um, offensive for the artist. What, what do you think? To each his own. Um, I remember doing that very thing. Mm -hmm. You know, just you want your art to match your your couch or you know you want everything to kind of have the same maybe color or theme um, I can't I've gotten away from that but I, I don't it's like if that's somebody's style that's their style but for me I like to hang paintings that like you said before they they make me feel good I like the color combinations or mm -hmm. maybe there's something about that that brings back a good memory mm -hmm. so uh, I'm more of an eclectic yeah. person. Yes. 
Yeah. I guess you could call it that. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there are those type of people that match everything and it's, I thought, I always thought, I mean, you, you buy art, you don't buy a Renoir because it matches the style, you know, just, <laughs> well, and so the same thing is for all the arts, you know, yeah. people should buy because it means something to them. I think that usually when people, if they come to one of my shows, mm -hmm. I feel like when they buy a piece of art, they're buying it they because feel. it makes them feel some way. Right. There's something that the colors usually call to yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, in the past, Toulouse Lautrec, for instance, painted prostitute in their beautiful costumes and dresses, and he depicted a a life that it was a, a kind of artificial life, not the kind of life that they lived, but the artificial life that he wanted to portray these women being in, you know, a fun life. Um, Renoir painted uh, the relaxed uh, life of French upper classes. Does your painting does your art mean something, or is it, uh, it reflects a moment in society, a particular time, or does it have a message? That's a good question. I would say that my New Orleans series, it, it, it's a, a time, it was a time, it was an era when you had the debutantes. I, I guess I'm thinking of the, the 40s and 50s, yeah. and. Uh, you know, I, I love to look at old photographs, and oh, so yes, I'll find old photographs, uh, New Orleans, or any of that, the Southern lifestyle. Right. And it just, I don't know, it, it brings something up in me that I just mm -hmm. really cherish. I love yeah, it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you are from kind of the same area, kind of. Yes. Texas, you know. Uh, but, yes. Yeah, but those uh, activities still happen, right? The debutantes, they still, they still happen. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, debutantes don't look the same as they did in Absolutely. the 1950s. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. Times change. You know. Yeah, times have changed. So yeah. I guess I'm nostalgic. Yes. And this uh, flower, is that a, a series of uh, something you are studying or it just came to you and... I have been practicing flowers in a vase mm -hmm. or a vase for a long time now. And mm -hmm. uh, I like to practice with glass and I, I just you see where the transparency yeah. is. And that's kind yeah. of very difficult thing to do, to portray transparencies yeah. through glasses and other things there, right? It seems like it's hard. Yeah. I think that you practice and you learn some tricks and then it's not quite as hard, just like anything. Right, right, so. yeah. So do you teach often? I teach some, I need to teach more. I, I, I'm such a busy person, so I work full time and then mm -hmm. I paint. I probably average 15 to 20 hours a week of painting. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the evenings or weekends, Occasionally, like once a month or maybe twice a month, I will teach just a small class, mm -hmm. four to six people right. for a couple of hours and okay. show them mm -hmm. how to do flowers in a vase. This is really not that hard, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. And, you know, we, let's see, the last, the last class that I did was pears, mm -hmm. pears and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I should have brought my tomato because it's very Italian-like. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> but we like to eat anyway. <laughs> so True. Any True. food uh, <laughs> theme will be very good. <laughs> so your students are adults or teenagers? They have been adults. Uh, I do enjoy children too, mm -hmm. so. You I teach in your studio? No, it's too cramped. <laughs> I know you produce a lot. <laughs> I do. Uh, yes, I have a lot of paintings at home. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a little art store that's really close to my house, mm -hmm. and they have a covered patio in the back, and they you, give you. me a little teacher discount, and then they let me have a class. You that's know, I just nice. work the calendar 
-hmm. If there's somebody else there, I just have to schedule it at different times. Absolutely. So, yeah. 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 So there, it's nice. So are you doing any more elephants or um, well, different yeah. animals? <laughs> I, I, I do a lot of things. So I will work on five or six paintings at a time. Mm -hmm. And if something is just irritating me, it goes in a corner <laughs> for bad oh. behavior. Oh. And then I pull it out later and, and work on it some more. Yeah. But uh, I'll work on, I work on just about anything. Right now I have a huge lion face hanging up in my, I think it was in the video. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. A yeah. crazy lion. Yeah. That was. With yellow hair. Well, he's purple now. Oh, oh, well, see. <laughs> Things but do change. But he has yellow eyes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of you seeing inside of his soul. Yeah. Well, he was inspired by Cecil. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's very nice. I, I love that composition you made of the lions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to make any more elephants. I know they've been kind of popular. They have. You? Yeah. No, I, I love doing yeah. elephants. Um, I, I have one in the works that I haven't looked at in a while. Mm-hmm but uh, I'll pull him out again. So what is your, really your favorite things that you do? My favorite paintings? Yeah, that, something that you do all the time. <laughs> I, I do so many things all the time. What I do is when I, as soon as I get home, change clothes, okay, that's the first thing, get comfortable, and then I go into the studio and I lay out some um, papers that I have already gessoed the night before. Mm -hmm. And they're ready for me to practice. And yeah. so I might do a bunch of waiters, mm -hmm. the New Orleans series, or it could be coffee cups, mm -hmm. it could be pears, or pineapples. I've been mm -hmm. doing a lot of pineapples lately. I guess I'm food oriented. <laughs> yeah, I like your butterflies. Those are oh. very, very colorful. My mother loves the yeah. butterflies. I love the butterflies, yes. Yeah. So what are your um, um, plans for the future art? Well, I would love to retire from my day job eventually and just be a full-time artist. That's what I would like to do. So I guess my ultimate dream would be to have my own studio, like a real studio, a mm -hmm. big one, mm -hmm. and maybe have a gallery in the front of the building. I think I've told you this before. Mm -hmm. And then have a little patio in the back, mm -hmm. you know, where you can have some wine. Um, I know what our dream was <laughs> at one point, was to have a house, big or small, doesn't matter, as long as we can work at our activities, your art and my other things. And in the back, you remember what we wanted in the back? Are you talking about the ocean and the cliff? vineyard? <laughs> oh, yes. The vineyard. <laughs> we wanted a vineyard. Yes. Yeah. So that maybe would be, that will happen. That would be great. Yes. Ocean close by and a vineyard in the back. The top will be the living quarters and the bottom the galleries or workplace. Oh yeah. So Definitely. that's all we need is put it on canvas. Put it on canvas and the dream will happen. So, you know, it's visualizing. So mm -hmm. that's how they say. If oh, you visualize okay. something, your dream will come true because you make it happen. Materially, you see it. Oh, well, I can't wait to get home and get started. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you should do that because mm -hmm. it's, it's a dream. And I know it is mine too, so. So I, this is very, very fun to see all your colors. I feel very, very happy around your um, um, art. And I know people who buy your art or learn from you would feel the same. I know that because colors is vibrations. And so how can you not like something that is this colorful, whether you're doing it or hanging it on the wall, and, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. Right? I it love it. Yeah, changes changes your day. I mean, even outside is gray, raining. You look at the painting that has a lot of colors and you just, ah. Oh. Yes. You know, feel different, right? Yes, definitely, yeah. right. definitely. So I, um, do you have any tips 
for anyone who wants to paint? Well, if you're local, mm -hmm. send me an email right. and uh, I'll teach. I'll teach you. I can get you started. But Good. if you live far away, mm -hmm. I would suggest going online and finding some online courses. I found a bunch on Facebook. There That's are so easy. many options. No. And no. the nice thing about those classes, they're inexpensive and no. you learn about all of the products. So, right. you know, you can start off small. But the tip is basically don't be scared, right? Exactly. Right. Well, that that's something that you learn along the way, yeah. not to be afraid. Right. I think everybody is at first. Yeah, at first, mm -hmm. but that's okay. You know. It's okay. Yeah. So, um, well, you never know. You really never know where you, this art is going to take you. So um, I really wish you lots of luck and, um, you know, a lot more colorful events. Uh, Definitely. You know, yeah. They're happening. They are they're <laughs> ha happening. Yes. yes. So yes. how many years has it been now that you've been painting? Later in life, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, six years. Six years. That's, that's yeah. good. So yeah. you have a career going. <laughs> I do. Yes, absolutely. And, uh, yes. So, are you one of those people that dreams about paintings? and? Yes. Yeah, same. Yeah. So you see it in your dreams and then... I'll think about maybe trying to fix one of the paintings mm -hmm. or I will be thinking about the color I want to use next. Right. right. So I, I like to experiment with the color combinations right. and a, a special effects. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's good. Well, I'm sure I will be seeing new things very shortly. I'm sure of that. Oh, you know, yes. you're so prolific. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But anyway, I really much, uh, I'm very happy you've been here today, and um, we, we need to wrap up the show. Thank you so much for being with us at Valentina Design Universe. And I want to thank my fabulous crew, crew for helping me making the show tonight. And as I say every time, color, uh, change your colors, you will change your life vibrations. Thank you all. Bye. Peace and love. <laughs>